My cat Murray, he all of a sudden started limping. Here's what I think is going on. Here's how I'm gonna treat him at home with natural remedies. Here's what I think you can do as well. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then I encourage you to sign up for my brand new cat health and nutrition webinar what to feed your cat, what not to feed your cat, and my most important cat natural remedies. You can click the link in the box below for more information. This is my cat, Murray. Yesterday, he started to limp, like kind of mid-afternoon, we noticed this marked limp in his right ear. And you know, there's him trying to walk around the house. You can see him really favoring his right rear leg. It's really tender. So if your cat is doing something similar, here's what I suggest. The first thing, you're doing an exam to figure out exactly where is sourced on your cat. So with Murray, we know it's his right rear leg. I'm gonna pull his leg back. Seems okay. I'm you know, extending his hip fully. Doesn't seem too uncomfortable, right Murray? I can move his knee back and forth. How's that Murray? I'm just gonna pull your knee. And Murray will let me know if it's sore. I want you guys to do much the same thing. Your knee's okay. I palpate down the leg. Let's see. So femur's okay. Tibia, fibula, it seems okay. The muscles around those bones seem fine. I get here lower down. This joint is called the hock. Put a bit of pressure there. And I actually can feel a little bit of a swelling on the outside of the hawk, and I touch that. Oh, you guys hear that? Oh, that's a growl. <laughs> the swelling's here, so this is his hawk, his right rear hawk. So there's definitely a palpable swelling here. It's pretty sore. Next, I want to take his temperature. If he's got a puncture wound, he should have an infection, bringing up his fever. Murray, we're gonna take your temperature and let the world know. Yes. Oh, what a nice kitty cat. I just need to know, do you have a fever or not? Murray's temperature is 39.7. He's got a fever. Ideally, you would then clip the hair around where the swelling is to confirm one, that there's an infection. Likely you're gonna see some type of puncture wound. I'm not gonna do that on camera because one, I need someone else to restrain Murray. He's just too difficult to do things by himself. And two, a little bit uncomfortable. First, I'm gonna be using this guy, CBD, cannabis oil a great way to provide natural pain relief, decrease some of that inflammation in Murray's joint. We're looking at cat doses of three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Murray's kind of closer to 20 pounds. He needs two drops or that is six milligrams. So I'm gonna put two drops on my finger. A little bit extra because he's really sore. And all you need to do is just rub it on your cat's gums. There, are Murray. Or rubbing on your gums. Mmm. And it's fine if you give a little bit more than the you know, suggested dose. It's CBD, cannabidiol, it's super safe. You're not gonna overdose your cat by giving it. And when they're really sore like this, it's fine. You want him to be more comfortable and not in as much pain. Next, something that's gonna help fight all that bacteria that's multiplying uh, just under his skin. What am I gonna use? It's this. Colloidal silver. The standard colloidal silver dose I use is one drop per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Marie's closer to 20 pounds. He's gonna get two drops now, two drops later. And let's just show them how easy it is to dose you, Murray. Yes, we're gonna tilt your head back. What a nice kitty cat. There, a couple little, maybe a little bit more than two drops and that's okay. You got a pretty nasty infection and we're gonna repeat that again tonight. I expect Murray to be improving within 48 hours, and if that's not the case, then he's gonna need to go into the clinic, get himself on some antibiotics. Um, but here's two good ways where you can provide some form of natural pain relief, um, some effective natural antibacterial, which is gonna help for many of the cats that have you know, these puncture wounds. If your cat is limping, do the exam, take his or her temperature, you think it's an infection, some type of natural pain relief in the form of CBD, natural antibiotic in the form of colloidal silver. 
Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets on why my cat Marie is limping, what natural remedies I'm using to help at home, and if your cat has the same condition, what you can do as well. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then lastly, I really encourage you to sign up for my brand new webinar, Cat Health and Nutrition, what to feed your cat, what not to feed your cat, and my top feline home remedies. You can click the link in the box below for more information.